Triple B Big Baller Podcast. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the Bout, bout, bout Bum Bobcast. <laughs> Bocklet Bit Bookies. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Bocklet Bit Bookies. Booey. A bribe to the Patreon. <laughs> a bribe to the BooTube. BooTube? Piano. Oh, yeah. Shout out to all of the new YouTube subscribers that we got Did from we? last episode. I, Hi, new people. I'm Michael. You don't know me yet. <laughs> okay. Well, first off, one, welcome to the Rat One podcast. Uh, today mm. we are podcasting on the Rat One. Um, my uh, Marcus is gone because he's gone to Portland Regionals. And it's become, it's come full circle, honestly. You know, Ash was gone mm-hmm. for one episode. Uh, Michael was gone for one episode. Now Marcus has gone for one episode, and there's one yeah, we're constant. Kill- we're killing yeah. Brady off next week. If Brady's not here next week, I want you to know there's no pod next week. Yeah. <laughs> See, what what a lot of you people don't understand is if I'm not here, it doesn't happen. It just you are, doesn't. You are the backbone, and you are so awesome for that, and we appreciate you. We we love you and all that you do. <laughs> no, don't no, cry. I'm sorry. I'm getting- if you cry, I'll cry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I can cry so hard. Podcast. Watch this. <laughs> Dude, last episode popped off. The the people love yeah. tier lists. They I'm love. not a tier list fan, so I didn't realize people liked tier lists that much. Holy shit. I think it comes from a place of like, oh, they're ranking on the tier list. Let's see if they're correct. Because uh, P- Pokemon fans are whack that way somehow. Mm-hmm. Um. No, I think I kind of get it. I it's like a I don't consume them either, but from, in my opinion, it's more of like a oh, do they share a, a similar thought process to me? Yes or no? Mm. Granted, I'm giving Pokemon fans a lot of credit on if they're normal or not. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see it from a more like cynical side of it. Like Pokemon yeah. fans are like like the the they're ravenous dogs that will eat you alive if you disagree dogs. with them. <laughs> They all pit. They called Gen 4 bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually. Dude, okay. I suppose we have to talk about this. Um, so, <laughs> it, it sucks that Mike, Mark, well, Marcos isn't here to talk about it himself, but Marcos, uh, when we posted about the, like, the last episode, made, like, a quote retweet of, of our, our post. Um, like a fool. <laughs> with, not, no. He's real for that, honestly. <laughs> He's real. Um, posted a clip of him describing that Gen 4 fans are like Harry Potter fans. Um, and uh, I love, I love, I love reading the comments to, to, that, to that post, honestly. It's so funny. <laughs> I, I feel bad because some people equate. Okay. There's weird Harry Potter fans in the fact that, like, you're obsessed with a book that is mid at best and also not that great and mm. written by a shitty person. There's there's Harry Potter fans who are only Harry Potter fans because they like J.K. Rowling and they're like, my free speech. Um, mm. fuck you. If you're listening to this and you're a real Harry Potter fan who supports J.K. Rowling, please fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Like, we were not trying to, also we were not trying to compare Gen 4 fans to People who like turfs. I need to. I need to say oh, yeah, that yeah. because I realized after we uploaded it, shit, it's gonna come off like that, isn't it? Nah. Well, Media literacy is at an all-time low. <laughs> people are reading it like that. Okay, Holy well, yeah. shit! Is this, Marcos like, it, is Marcos is silly, goofy, funny. Yeah, true, true, he, true. His his audience would read like that. I'm not gonna. But lie. But, but also, Marcos very like. Very full on, like, explain the thought process behind it in the clip. So, anybody thinking that just didn't watch the clip and looked at the text and was like, oh, I'm angry, I'm angry. So, yeah, no, I just think it's really funny. Um, Gen-, Gen 4 fans, this is this one's at you, at all Gen 4 fans. Do you want to be mad? Do you wake up and just, like, want to <laughs> swing at things? Dude, like, I- what's the point, man? Why are you going on Twitter.com and, and re- lo- looking up the word Gen 4 or, or Platinum or Herkel or whatever? To be fair, that tweet kind of popped like, off. 
Well, yeah, but even that, it's like, if you don't even know the guy, like, why are you like, grr, yeah. grr, I have to defend Gen 4 like it's my life. Like, bro, I grew up with it, too. Right, that was me. I 100% I was little baby un- understand defending something that you love, like, with all of your heart and soul, because to you, it was awesome, you might have, like, some personal attachment to it, and whatnot, um, it, it sucks to admit that something you like isn't as great as you think it is, but sometimes you just need to also accept that some people have opinions, and sometimes, sometimes they're wrong. Okay. <laughs> Also, accepting the fact that, like, your opinions are different from others is, or, like, is okay. You're allowed to have different opinions. It's very human. You're it's al- very normal. You're allowed Trust to me, disagree. Not everyone should share your opinion. You're, That's normal. <laughs> you're allowed to, like, disagree, but you should. You can also respect the uh, the mm-hmm. other person uh, who, you know, has that different opinion. Um, Side note, it, it, this does not the- apply to human rights. <laughs> Yes. Because I also at- see people saying, I'm entitled to my opinion, and they're talking about, I don't know, laws that protect human lives. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a I'm very... Just put that out. I'm just putting that at, out there. I'm that's sorry. a very it's important serious. thing to put out there, yeah. Um, <laughs> I know it's serious. I'm sorry. But- it's that SpongeBob about to get crushed by a rock. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's, like, he's like, wait! <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> Asterisk. <laughs> uh, 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 asterisk. You you can be an arsehole for having opinions as well, and uh, you can be an awful person, and that is where I will not a uh, will not a respect your opinion. However, if it's about Pokemon, uh, <laughs> I can you know. make fun of you as much as I want. <laughs> yeah, I just don't understand going on Twitter and publicly hating. Like that is so that, fucking that, weird. That it's is... like going into a library and being like, "Oh, that book you're reading is fucking cringe, loser." This, like, this is also whoa. something I struggle to understand with some people. Of like, I you know, someone's minding their business, and like you can look at them and think that person's weird for doing that or liking X, Y, and Z. But I've never mm. understood the. I guess the confidence it takes to walk up to someone and say, that's stupid, actually. Like, what? How do you- I don't think it's confidence. I think it's insecurity. Like, because I'm confident when I post. When I post fucking, like, half-naked borrow <laughs> fucking lions and tigers and shit, <laughs> that's confidence. <laughs> true, true. That's, that is me in my own lane. I don't give a fuck. You're, you're, and, and you see, that's awesome. But when it's, uh, like, if someone were to go to that tweet and reply to it with, like, hey, man, that's super fucking weird. This doesn't align well with anything that I think. I think you should not have tweeted that. It's like, mm-hmm. are you my mom? What are, like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> Shut up. It is, yeah. it is crazy when you can tell people, like, searched specifically for, like, a buzzword. And you're like, yeah. I don't, like, they don't follow anyone you're following. I caught, yo. They, they don't. I, I've made tweets about, like, um, I made some tweet about, oh my god, guys, look, the whale lord is finally real size. Game Freak finally cares about my game. It wasn't real size before, which means they didn't care. Hey, wait, why are you leaving? <laughs> I, I thought it was funny, because yeah. that was when, um, that was during Sword and Shield, during the whole bring back national decks, Game Freak lazy, blah, 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 shenanigans. Yeah. Um, man. Oh man, I forgot about that. Yeah, I I blocked it out from my me- memory, like mentally, except for the fact that I remember someone obviously like searched on Twitter for something about Whale Lord or something about Game Freak. Like they searched Game Freak on Twitter and then got mad at me for having this opinion. And, yeah, you know that's fine, but social media I feel like has this weird barrier of where. People don't understand that these are real humans you're talking to because you can't see their faces. And so it's like, it's like Michael said, you're chilling in your library or like your house or something. Like imagine you're on, you're, you're at the park and someone walks up to you and say, and says, what the fuck are you doing? And you're like, huh? Who are you? <laughs> my it's, literally, is this. it's literally happened to me in high school. I'd be in the hallway playing DS. Like same. this is the same shit. It's literally the same shit. I think we did um, talk about this. We were just yeah. chilling, and then someone's like, "Why are you playing on a DS?" I'm like, "Fuck off." <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm... here's here's the lesson to learn from that: is not your cringe. No, it's it's that this person is so insecure that they're going up to random people and beefing with them for no reason. <laughs> That's on them. That is exclusively on. That will always be on them. Well, Podcast it... listener, if if you have experienced this on the receiving end of this, that ain't on you, bro. 
in the in the context of this, it's like purely just people being mad because you don't share the, like your opinion. Like it's literally so, that. It's as simple as that. Like, so the question is now: Do we make more tier lists to make people angry for comments, or do we not make more yes, tier lists for the sake absolutely. of our health? Yes, <laughs> I think absolutely. I just Bomb like making these. tier lists because I, I, like, I want to know what my friends think about this. Yeah, I like making tier lists. Brady's is probably more of like a <laughs> oh, I want to watch the world burn yeah, perspective. No, I, I want these people to, look, look, all I'm saying, okay, I made a tweet about this and it says, and it's, it's in response to Marcos's tweet and in the replies, it's like, the replies of, on this tweet have only solidified that I'm correct in thinking, very cool Gen 4 fans, a deranged weirdo is, okay, way too much about the opinion of other people. Um... I stand by range. this. Just How'd that go? Range. How'd that go for you? Uh, it's just I I got eight likes and nobody responded to it. But no, I was one of those likes. That was me on my eight alternative accounts. <laughs> I think yeah. Okay, uh, this is gonna be added to the list of eventual Route One podcast merch that needs to get made. <laughs> <laughs> A shirt that says "I hate Gen Four, cry about it." Dude, and, and like okay. And the whole the whole point of like me having like wanting to see the world burn is because I want to. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna fucking mess with these people because they're so well, like. No. I here's don't, here's. I, I don't know. I I wanna put them in a box. I wanna get. To, I wanna. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna get to nerve them. You know. I need, Brady's I need gonna to make like fucking lab workings. rat experiments. Yeah. <laughs> like. I wanna. I wanna put put these three people through experiments. What the fuck is wrong with you? I wanna do Drip ten feeding hours. them their Cynthia pills, bro. <laughs> yeah, I need. I need to do tests and like you know. <laughs> this is. I'm anti this because as as a Pokemon fan in general, when Sword and Shield was coming out, all I heard was people saying this game sucks, and I was like, I know. Can you shut up about it? They're like, no, it sucks. I'm gonna tell you. Like people who I hadn't talked to. It for months would be in my DMs like, ha, huh, did you see how bad this game was? I'm like, can you leave me the fuck alone? Literally. Like, yeah. so We've all got I, it as I, Pokemon. I understand, I understand the like, why the fuck do people think like this? But also I can understand if they're tired of hearing it. <laughs> hmm. Well, I mean... Like, with Pokemon specifically for me, right, it's like... You you said it the best, where it's like, dude, I know this series sucks. <laughs> like, it's like a- dude, we're not playing Breath of the Wild out here, right? We're not playing oh, I'm so fucking excited um, for that Elden game, Ring. <laughs> we're not playing these triple, like, Platinum Star fucking Omega beefed games that everyone and their mom is like, oh my god, this is coming out? When's this coming out? Right? It's like, mm. oh, come on, bro. They make one every fucking year for, like, it's it's the fast food of video games. I'm not going to Taco Bell expecting a five-star dinner. I think I've literally said this on the podcast before. But, like, we've all been in that position where we're like, damn, some Taco Bell would fucking hit right for now, real? right? Like, yeah, yeah. You're not going up to the drive-thru and not ordering and beefing with all of the people that are ordering in the drive-thru. Be like, ugh, what's wrong with you fucking poverty? Like, whoa! <laughs> I think Listen. this is, like, this weird, like, level of, like not having any self-awareness to, like, realize that people, maybe people are like that. I think it's, there's a lot of, uh, n- like, I want to say unself-awareness for just lack of a better term. Lack like, of on self-awareness. Both, lack of self-awareness on both <laughs> sides of this. Like, the Gen 4 fans lack so much self-awareness because they're like, oh, you don't agree with me. And then there's people who are like, you like Pokemon, man? It's like, oh, man, you, you're you playing Pokemon because it's a good game? Like, it's a Pokemon is an objectively I'm playing it bad series. Because I can click cool. jet punch okay. with my palafin and kill something and it makes me go hee hee hee. <laughs> Dude, this is, we're literally like the fucking that's cool. Watch this jet punch <laughs> talc. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I Terra Water like, Choice Band Adamant Jet Punch in Rain honestly, versus Gen 4 fan. Com- com- <laughs> shut, up, shut, up, <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Whatever. Sorry, what I was trying to say was I don't know if I would have stuck with Pokemon if not for competitive, but also I I'd be like I'm like sometimes I want some fucking Taco Bell, you know? Yeah, I get it, dude. Uh, listen, like, I've st- booted I'll up start Pokemon Emerald, Emerald for yeah, like the like, 19th time <laughs> today. Just like, like random playthroughs of games. Like I I've been thinking of I want to play X and Y again, but it would be funny if I only used the monkeys. Because you can get them in the first yeah, forest. Yeah. I'm like, huh. So, so like, yeah, it's, so it's, it's, a friend it's a of ours, 
mutual friend of ours uh, equated like Dragon Quest, uh, like a comfort food JRPG. Yeah. When you grow up with Pokemon, that becomes your comfort food. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In the same vein that, like, I don't know if you grow up, you know, <laughs> sheltered white household mac and cheese becomes your what? <laughs> your comfort food. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with this one. Okay. <laughs> save me, save me, save me. Stop. Someone stop. The topic. You're attacking Holy me right, right now because my mom's obsessed with <laughs> specifically Cracker Barrel white cheddar mac and cheese. Oh. I'm with your mom on this one because that shit slaps. <laughs> so, so listen, I get it, I get it. You want to know? Here, we're changing the subject to comfort food because you just made me remember the most American recipe that I've ever had in my life. That's actually kind of good. Um, so it's a casserole, uh, mm. and you make it in like a like a tin big, big pan tin thing. pan thing. Yeah. You do a layer of ground beef, a layer of cream of mushroom soup or cream of potato whichever you prefer and then a layer of um tater tots frozen tater tots oh. and you put cheddar cheese oh. and shredded oh. cheese on top and then you just put it in the oven it's that does terrible that is about as american as it gets it's but that's so good <laughs> yeah i'm out of but see somebody with standards would be like oh but it's not where's the a5 wagyu <laughs> <laughs> I love this fucking fast. Relax. It was like, I made a better burger than McDonald's. And they pull out like actual beef, beef that wasn't frozen. Dude, I got it. Okay. All Gen 4 fans watch Joshua Wiseman. You know who this is? <laughs> no. The fucking, the fucking food YouTuber who calls himself Papa. And he's like, I made McDonald's, but better. Oh, God. For less than, for like less than $5. It's like that type of shit, right? And they're just like. You do- so pretentious. Pretentious is the yes. word. That's the word I was looking for. You don't for. understand. Jesus. The the point of fast food is that it's fast. People don't have time to cook. That's why it works. Literally. Also, I, I don't have so many hours to sink into like Elden Ring or yeah or um Xenoblade or anything like these. Right? It's like, yeah. what do I want? I want to load up Pokemon Emerald, play it for thirty minutes tonight, eat an edible, and then go to fucking bed. That's what I want. Yeah. That's, that's good for that, me. I love that's this. That's the life, bro. And, and yeah. <laughs> Quick side note, y'all still have me addicted to Pokemon Rogue, by the way. Mm. And that is my, like, that's my before I go to bed chill down game a lot of the time. Because oh, I'll just like, yeah, I'll play, I'll play through yeah. like a route of Pokemon Rogue. Because I put it on my DS and now I can just play it whenever I want. It's so nice. That's, that's also probably why I like um, FE4 a lot. Because you can, the maps are fucking gigantic. They take you like multiple hours to beat, but you can save every turn. So some Fire Emblem games, you feel like you have to beat the map, or else you're not really at a starting point, you know. But with that one, with FE4, you could just pause whatever, and it's fine, it's chill. Hmm. I don't know. I like. I feel like you know we have AAA titles, and those are very important. Good story experiences, indie titles like that. But I like comfort games. I don't play I a think, lot of like those like cozy farming sims, sims, but sometimes just having a game where you don't have to think very hard is very nice. There's a there's a very large like group of people that are often like el- elitist and like pretentious in terms of like games and stuff, and it's like, mm-hmm. bro, why, why, why is it? Oh, matter? you get the Crunchwrap Supreme from Taco Bell? No, what you gotta do is you gotta order a chalupa and then <laughs> order a separate tortilla. That way you can make the bigger chalupa supreme. That's that's just more optimal than playing mm-hmm. Pokemon or buying the original chalupa supreme. That's what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? Like, it, if that made sense to anybody, you'd go. <laughs> I don't think I said that right at all. Welcome like to the it. Route One podcast. For any new listeners who I hope stick from the uh, from the tier list video, <laughs> this is Michael. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. And we He's love him. And oh, like, an introduction. This is this is Michael. He's the goat. He set up a whole fucking giant art installation by himself, which was really cool. <laughs> he's really talented and really smart, but only sometimes. Um, only sometimes. And he's awesome for that. <laughs> Um, and he compares himself to Naruto characters constantly, and I make fun of him yeah. for it. Yeah, Acqu- I'm like Goku, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Dude, come on. It's the come on. podcast, you have what to say fuck? Nimona. Oh, true, true, Nimona. Oh, sir, okay. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna end this, like, little Gen, Gen 4 hatred session with, hey, uh... I'm not saying that I dis I, I I don't like you because of your opinions. You can like Gen 4. I like Gen 4 to an extent. The reason why I hate you is because of the way you project 
your opinions into the world and how you treat other people for disagreeing with you and yes. how you how you how you act um including and not limited to your shitty jerks <laughs> Um, this also extends your behavior. This also extends out to black to white to fans, which I am one of. Oh, Wait, there's, okay. What are the shitty jokes for black to white to? Oh, oh, Sophia's in the Odella house. Oh, in, God, oh yes. Sophia's in the Odella house, guys. Oh, it's a jump scare. You just got jump scared, bro. Oh. <laughs> Listen. Wait, Gen 4 fans just got Legends Arceus and BDSP back to back. Oh, yeah. And I they, get why they're being annoying. They're having withdrawals because they're never going to get anything again. They don't have a good Sinner game apart from Legends Arceus. They don't have a good Sinner game at all. BDSP is actually kind of solid. BDSP but... is good. Is good. I'm, I'm so, a fan of So BDSP. here's the thing. That's the kind of person I'm going to become when Let's Go Johto comes out or uh, Legends Johto. Um, so prepare yourself. I'm, I'm saying this to you as a friend. Um, as just a warning. Yeah. I fucking love Johto! <laughs> and I will defend it until the day I die. My ass didn't even play Crystal. I played Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which has even more flaws than Crystal somehow. Okay? I like it. I think it's neat. And I think Hisui and Typhlosion is my best friend. Yes. Oh, speaking of Hisui and Typhlosion. Should oh, we talk dude, about great segue. Brady's awesome <laughs> Hisui and Typhlosion that's like the coolest guy ever? His, so his, his Hisui and Typhlosion that got him an article written about him. Yeah. So, I'm not sure if it's going to be out by the time this happened, but I've been contacted by, um, I've been contacted by somebody who is going to write an article about, uh, my awesome history and Typhlosion, which Ash and Marcus gave me the idea, uh, last yes. episode for. And I'm um, now stealing this idea because I really want to do that over the summer. <laughs> Dude, I'm so glad with the amount of people who have been like, okay, well, I'll get into it first. So basically, mm -hmm. last episode, I, um, we came, came up with the idea of, um, trading up, like, a Cyndaquil from Heart Gold Soul Silver, um, while having, like, the Living Legend mark, which is the, the ribbon that you get for defeating Red in Heart Gold Soul Silver, trading it up to Legends Arceus and evolving it into a Hisuian Typhlosion. Um, now, I had, I wasn't sure if Legends Arceus, like, kept ribbons, like, available, which is why I was, like, confused as if, as to, like, that was a thing I could do. As it turns out, it does. Mm -hmm. and, and, like, you can, you can view, um, the ribbons on your Pokemon, in Pokemon Home, on your phone. Yeah. And I've traded, I've done everything about it, and looked at it, and the ribbons of it. I even get a ribbon from Legends Arceus for doing a pose with it. Um, oh, really? Yeah. So, so basically cute. what I've done, that. basically what I've done past doing the Living Legend thing, um, is actually put for Cyndaquil in every game that I can. So this is, this is a big thing where I did my big, like, playthrough of every game was helpful. Um, I traded up my Cyndaquil to every game, um, and defeated the champion with it, so it would get the ribbon of, like, for defeating the Elite Four in that game. Except for Black Black and White and Black and White too, because they don't give out ribbons for some reason. They gave up on ribbons for some reason. Yeah, I think um, they were, even though they had, like, that whole metal system. Yeah, it was... it's, it's really weird. I think, like, I don't know. It was weird that you don't get one for defeating the Unova League. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I beat Red, tried it up to Black and White 2, beat the Elite 4, but then realized I didn't get a ribbon for it. Tried it to X and Y, got the Kalos ribbon, RS, Hoenn. Uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Alola, up, transferred it up to Pokemon Home, uh, and got the Sinnoh one from BDSP, and then transferred it to Legends Arceus to make it a Hisuian type illusion. Um, this took me about, like, on and off, like, like, six to seven hours on a Sunday. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Well, I, um, I, you already had all the games beaten, to be fair, I guess. Yeah, I had all the games beaten, but at the same time, also, I was procrastinating, like, doing all this shit at the same time so it was just <laughs> that's like, on and why off, you went like, so fast <laughs> like oh it was less it, it was more like it got bloated because i was doing other stuff in between doing the, oh the historian gotcha. type flusion I, I i thought you were doing a joke of i was procrastinating so it was went really fast <laughs> yeah i mean honestly not too far from the truth a bit of both a bit of both honestly hmm. um 
which was a really cool thing that I did. I ended up posting about it on Tuesday because I did it on Monday. I was going to post about it. And I was like, ah, I'm not sure how to format this. And then I posted it and it got <laughs> like 5k likes um, in like two days. And it's like, holy shit. What did everybody come awesome. from? And so everyone's cool. coming around being like, um, oh, this is so cool, this is so awesome, and then there's people who also did it at the same time, and it's like, oh, I want to do this, but then there's people who have already done similar things. Ah. Um, some have even done more than me. There was, like, a, <laughs> a guy called at Irmista with an Irmista profile picture, and Irmista is his name, <laughs> and, he replied, <laughs> and he replied, Irmista, exclamation point, uh, exclamation, exclamation mark, star Irma Irmista, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> And it's a screenshot of every ribbon on an Irma star. That's I, hold on, I need to go follow that. That's actually bro's so awesome. Bro's tweet left his target audience so hard he got Oma star in there. <laughs> and I was like, yo, like there was someone who that's did fire. There was a guy who did it with an Infernape. There was a guy who um did it with um with like a cipher and put it in and put a cleaver in and evolved it. Oh, um, that's so cool. That, that's smart. I was thinking about it. I was trying to think of like what other Pokemon could you evolve besides yeah. Typhlosion. I is that the only one? Not Quillfish, not Voltorb, not Huh. I don't know. Uh probably like Braviary, but like Oh yeah, know. true. But you can't but like, you can't yeah. go as far as back with black and white. You see, I I yeah, like yeah, yeah. the people who do ribbon quests like that are so fucking cool to me, and I want to do one of those so bad. I feel like I would just skip all the contest ribbons and get just like the friendship ribbons or something. Yeah, I I definitely want to do another one of these, but like more, like mm -hmm. more ribbons, uh, just to have that extra bit of swag. The whole point of this was to have just like a unique guy. Um, mm -hmm. I, and, like, it's really cool because it's, like, you get to, um, something that's especially very hard for Pokemon players, um, that play competitive is that Pokemon tend to not have staying power in terms of, like, being attached to it. You might be attached mm -hmm. to a single Pokemon in terms of how it plays, but yeah. you're not attached to a Pokemon, like a, like, the digital code of a, a unique guy that mm -hmm. is in your game. Because, you know, we gen, we do all, we breed shit all the time. We have different sets and stuff. But mm -hmm. we don't have unique guys. My... And it's hard for us to my... get attached to that. Because the meta um, changes so quickly. My... I need, like, five yeah. different gold goes in the span of a month. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally going to say me with my 50 golden goes that I totally got legitimately. <laughs> yeah. So, and, like, as much as Sicilian Typhlosion isn't legal at the moment, it eventually will. And I'll want to build a team with it. So it's like... Okay, I get to use my cool, unique guy that has the living legend mark that I brought up from Hot Soul Silver into Legends Arceus and then into Scarlet and Violet. I no got doubt, an idea. In, no doubt in my goddamn mind that I'm gonna be <laughs> using that in free for alls eventually. Oh yes. Um, when home releases, which is a whole other issue. <laughs> oh yeah, but I do want to talk. I do want to talk about that for a bit. Um, but yeah, no, it's just like a cool way to have a unique guy just like a cool mm -hmm. guy that you can get attached to the same thing happened with my um kyurga that i took to melvin regionals yeah! in 2021 um that fish oh, was so awesome 2022 yeah um it, it soft and wet who was from hot gold soul silver and got given the living legend mark it was like that little bit of extra swag that i had like mm -hmm. while playing the game i did dog shit but it was like oh, i did it while having a cool Kyurga, you know? I did it next to my best friend. Yeah, so, and, like, it's something beyond, like, maybe it being a shiny, or... Mm -hmm. Like, if you have a shiny with that, that like, I almost wanted to shiny hunt for the Cyndaquil before I traded it yeah. up, just so I had... So it was a un extra unique. He's shiny, yeah. and he has all the ribbons. Yeah. So um, here's... Here's... I have an idea now. Thanks. Thank you. Because now I, I was thinking about, oh, what other, the, the Scyther guy, okay, you can do Braviary, what else? And I was like, Ursaluna. I Ooh. fucking love Ursaluna. I have loved the Teddy Ursa line uh, since I was a kid. And I have on my DS, uh, my modded DS, a ROM hack called Crystal Clear that is, it's, it's compatible, all the Pokemon that you can catch. 
um, breed, catch, breed, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, will legally go into Pokemon Home. There's never any discrepancy with where they're met and found, like, like, uh, like the the route location is usually where ROM hacks will fuck up when you're transferring a Pokemon from a ROM hack to a real game. But it's all set up so that it should work perfectly. I could shiny hunt for Teddy Ursa in that ROM hack because they added like chaining, uh, like an Oras. Uh, into crystal, basically. I could shiny hunt for that Teddy Ursa. I could give him all the ribbons, and then I could evolve him into an Ursa Luna, which will be probably competitively viable because you look at that thing, and it's like this is Great Tusk and Iron Hands, but and they had a baby. It's <laughs> and then it had guts. and then it had guts. <laughs> <laughs> I might do this with a Teddy. Oh, I'm gonna make a Teddy Bear Brady. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to do this because y'all are doing this and it sounds fun and cool, but I do not have the like mental stamina to play through every Pokemon oh, game no, that's fair. like that. I think okay. the only reason I do it is because I still have like Gen 4 I've already beaten, so it's already there. I just need to go f fight Red. Uh, Gen 3 I've beaten Oras, so I can just go rechallenge the Elite Four. Five has nothing. Six I've already beaten the Elite Four. Seven I've already beaten the Elite Four, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. I mean, the thing about the about the, doing this as well is like you you kind of need the equipment to do it. Like I yeah. invested a lot of money in being able to do this stuff because I thought it was cool and it was fun. Mm -hmm. Um, like for instance, obviously, you know, I needed to have multiple DSs to do this. I needed to have a copy of Heart Gold Soul Silver. I needed a copy of Black and White or yeah. Black and White Two. I needed a 3DS. Um, a modded 3DS. Over that said, now that Pokemon Bank is free and you have access to like, um, like hacking your 3DS as well, means you can get access to Pokemon Bank and Pokemon, uh, transporter, Perky transporter now. Um, mm -hmm. pretty easily. Thank, if you thank want goodness. That. Um. And you still have to have that. There's like that initial little bit of. You need a hot gold soul silver or a yeah. diamond and pearl, or if you even want to have something for like the GBA, you need to have the virtual copy. console. Like, oh yeah, that too. Uh, for like GBA games specifically, like the Hoenn games. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Like, you're right. You need your copy of thing, and you or, need to like, have a DS need... that's a DS with both cartridge slots. <laughs> yeah, you need a DSi, mm -hmm. and then also you like you don't necessarily need the game. Like there are flash cards out there that allow you to. Um, allow you to do like the regular transfer thing thing with Pell Park, um, but yeah, no. If you have access to it, it's a really fun like project you can just do because it's just like I don't know, it's real, it's fun. You get to make cool guys and you put it in your game, and then it's awesome. Yeah, see, um, you were, we were talking about how Pokemon are shit games, but I feel like it's one of those like I've played it for so long, it's it's my comfort, you know. Just yeah. just having the concept of i i'm every day i like mourn <laughs> the the fact that some of my original pokemon games got stolen that i had when i was 11 10 maybe and that i can't keep those starters and transfer them with with me i think the the earliest game i have is probably black 2 which came out in i'm looking at my poster that has all the release dates 2012 so the oldest pokemon date i probably have is uh 2012 or maybe 2011 because i think i got platinum the year before so like is it's having those little memories attached to my pixels make me happy <laughs> Yeah, I used to have that with like the in-game team that I would play through the games with. Oh so, yeah, like, whatever I beat the game, like my starter, like I still remember what my Gen Seven team was. It was like Decidueye, Coma O. Okay, I don't remember. <laughs> my Gen team. I just remember those two. Um, Delmise was on it. Um, but those were the the ones that I would transfer up the most, mm -hmm. right? Like so like I think they're all in Gen 8 now at this point yeah. uh waiting there or, or Pokémon Home or oh! something like that. But that's shifted from those guys being the ones that I get the memories from to the ones from competitive actually yeah. giving me the ones that give me memories like Golden Go. I have him right behind me. <laughs> in fact, he's on my wall. <laughs> but like I've transferred up um 
I, I, I kept some of my competitively made, like I had an Araquanid uh, totem one that I wanted to keep mm. in Aura so it would keep its size. But I am curious to see, oh no, it's not in Sword and Shield, fuck. Mimikyu is, I could transfer up my totem Mimikyu to see if it gets like the biggest size in uh, Scarlet and Violet. I mean, you don't have to go to um, Sword and Shield, you can go like direct straight to... Just yeah. call about from home now. You don't have mm -hmm. to worry about Sword and Shield. Which is really nice. I, I do want to add a quick note of, like, one, I didn't know that you would get a ribbon in Arceus for do taking a picture, but there was someone who did, they caught a uh, Titan, or Alpha, that's that's the word that they use, uh, Alpha Mime Jr. <laughs> from uh, Arceus, and you put it in home and it gets a mark for being an Alpha. And then you can take it from Arceus into Sword and Shield. They evolved it into a Galar Mr. Mime and then a Rhyme Ju uh, Mr. Rhyme. I almost said Rhyme Jr. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> a Mr. Rhyme. And then put it back into home and it kept its uh, Titan mark. So, or Alpha mark, I mean. What I, I'm having, I'm dying. Uh, so, so those marks yeah. stay on your Pokemon. And knowing that the... Uh, the like champion ribbons and the living legend ribbons stay even though you can't view them in Arceus is very good to know. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, things things like um I guess the Legends Arceus related ones. I wish black and white gave you at least like a hidden one. Yeah, like I I need to do research on like what games actually give stuff. I know people have done videos on this. Mm-hmm. It'd be really cool to um have like, similar, like, yeah. things. But, like, the Mr. Rhyme with the Titan mark is, like, one of those things that's cool, because, like, that gets transferred into, um, Scott and Violet as, like, a... Like, you can be a former Titan. Yeah! Like, I'm fairly sure that might also give you, like, the biggest mark. Like, the... You're the biggest size you can be. Mm-hmm. Shout but, out um, to Sneeb the Great. It's a good one. <laughs> the, the... Yeah, the Titan mark. I would love to do this with old gen Pokemon games, especially if it's the Emerald that I just loaded up today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If any Pokemon from there were, were easily transferable, but and here's the thing, they're not right now because Home's not out, yeah. uh, into, into Scarlet and Violet that I could use competitively. Because, mm -hmm. like, what Gen 3 Pokemon is currently running competitive in, in Gen 9? He oh, boy! <laughs> Breloom! He's all right! <laughs> Maybe. Salamence, I guess. Oh, Sa Maybe. Salamence is actually solid. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm really waiting for something to, like, cross over between something that I can use on, like, an in-game playthrough or, mm -hmm. like, have a playthrough dedicated around. Like, maybe I'm going to go hunt something specific. You can yeah. do a Dratini um, or, like, a Dragonite. Ooh, true. That's in that's Yeah, in but, like... I get it. A Pokemon you I think you what like. I'm trying to get at is, like... Yeah, like, if I wanted to go get Regirock and Emerald right now, right, and I wanted to use that in, let's say, last generation Gen 8 when it was good, like, that's what I'm saying, mm -hmm. of, like, oh, I would love to do that, but well, yeah. not for any other purpose other I mean, than that's what, right now, I don't think. That's what I did with the Kyoga thing. I like that yeah, thing. yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, very similar to that. Once, uh, once restricted formats come out and stuff like that. <laughs> I know, but I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. Um, shout out to Pokemon saying that Home was going to come out early this year, by the way. Someone retweeted it recently and said, oh, Pokemon Home coming out early this year was a tweet from Nintendo of America, which I think is really funny. Hmm. <laughs> hmm, it's interesting. We're almost in the middle of the year. <laughs> early. Guys, early of the year one... is June... 31st it's still in listen, the halfway point i'm ha i'm i'm fine with this considering that it's probably gonna make it more user-friendly to use and yeah. easier to like i'm good with that because board knows they need more time with them. i i agree but <laughs> i do still think it's funny because it's that it's totally that fucking like child in the pool meme where they're like <laughs> pokemon picking up um like Scarlet Violet DLC, <laughs> and then it's Pokemon Sleep drowning, and then at the bottom of the pool as a skeleton, it's Pokemon Home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'm the vibes. I'm excited for Pokemon Home for both um, transferring things because that was another thing. One of the very first competitive Pokemon that I made was um, an Alolan Muck because someone kicked my ass with it. Um, on a pickup game when I was spectating worlds and I was like, this Pokemon's really good. Um, 
And so I wanted to make one. And so I did. And Alolan Muck has become one of my favorites ever since. So I can send my original Alolan Muck, which I think I named Thick Boy Number 18. <laughs> I don't. It was some in joke with my Thick friend boy. group, but I like calling what? him Thick Boy Number 18 specifically. Thick Boy Number 18. <laughs> number 18. I don't know where the other. There are 17, 17. Thick Boys before him. <laughs> Well, I would do that too. I have every competitive Raichu I have named after the very first Raichu I ever used, which was in Pokemon Red, my mom's copy, which I stole uh, <laughs> and started playing on. And I named that Raichu Snickers because I was naming all of my Pokemon after candy because I thought it was funny. Aww. And so now all of my competitive Snickers, both Alolan and normal Raichus are like Snickers the second, Snickers the fourth. I think I got to Snickers oh, I- the sixth by the end of Gen 7. What it reminds me of is, like, there's, uh, videos of, like, me after listening to the fourth Mamba. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mamba number five. And he's like, oh, and he's just, like, he's, he's, like, popping off. The fourth Mamba is crazy. Mamba number five and E-Mine. I think that's what it reminds me of. It's wow. like, ah, uh, yes, yet another, yet, yet another mumber. But I need Pokemon Home so I can transfer my 12 shiny chances that I got through EXP grinding in Gen 7, my Alolan Mux that I bred in Gen 7, all my Raichus, like, because that was the first, that game is where I started liking Comfey, I think. Because I play, mm. I made, I made, I, yeah, I bred a Comfey and I named it after myself. I named it Aspirin because I'm like, he, he, it's a doctor. Um. So I could transfer that one up as well. And and then bring it into Scarlet and Violet. And I can use a little, and like, I can't use Comfey, but I can use the right shoes, you know? I'm very yeah. excited for um, regional forms to be in Scarlet and Violet. Both in yeah. the nostalgia sense, because we haven't seen a little and muck for so long. Um, and also for competitive, because a lot of the forms are just really cool. I loved using a little and Persian in Sword and Shield. <laughs> So I want oh, to yeah. again. Incineroar 0.5. Yep. I'm, uh, I've always, I need Flutterman to be an emerald, bro. That's what <laughs> I need right now. Oh, you need, man, I need uh, to find that hack. Someone asked me about this. Of If there's a hack, like how far back does adding recent gens into Pokemon go? I know there's like gen, t- mm. gen 3 style sprites for every single Pokemon at this point. But there was a hack that I had that I can't find it anymore, but it was up to black and white, and it added every mon from black and white, you know, previously, into red, and then randomized it. And I remember on the oh, first- yeah. on the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did I see I can't that. find it anywhere. I don't remember what it was called, but on the first round, I found a Regigigas. <laughs> Level two. Yeah. I think he knew Explosion. Ex- red Extreme or something? I don't know. I don't something like that. Like... Okay. I think the same person asked me the same question, Ash. I got the Oh, were we in that call? Word. Okay. Yeah, oh, not, yeah. No, not not in a call. I got DM'd. Oh. <laughs> and I uh I I got it hooked on uh, Emerald Rogue because I said yes. uh, Gen three. It's a Gen three game that has like everything up to Gen eight and yeah. like. If we're talking about Vee, yeah, because Rogue has Rogue. Hisui guys. Yeah. Does it? Yeah, Rogue has uh like Overquill and shit. Yeah. I think. Oh, I'd have to check. I didn't realize that. That's cool. I think they're, like, enableable. Like, you have to, to, to turn them on, right? Because you have to yeah, beat the game first to unlock yeah. the national text, and then even yeah, after yeah. that, you have to do something. I'm, to get I'm in the, the middle of my very there. first run after beating it for the first time, Um, and I turned on every... No, I think I turned up up to Gen 6. Because I was like, I don't want to overwhelm myself completely. But man, that game's fine. Dude, okay, we opened this episode with, man, we fucking hate Pokemon, and we're ending this episode with, I, I like Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate Pokemon. Don't, don't get it twisted. I hate some of the people who like Pokemon. <laughs> I hate Pokemon fans and Game Freak defenders and Game Freak haters. There's a gray I, area, and I am in the middle. <laughs> there's a gray area, but I just but like role-playing. Normal. <laughs> normal. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon's a role-playing game, and I'm playing the fuck out of the role-playing oh, yeah. part of the role-playing That's game. what makes it fun. That's what I like. Yeah. That's Pokemon's strongest suit, I think, and it always has. And I think that's why, as people get older, they don't like Pokemon as much because they're as a kid, they you know you kind of make up your own story and you have playground rumors with your friends, and it's more of like a community thing. Um, where you're also like creating your own narrative as you go along. Of like, I used to give my Pokemon personalities and shit like that. I'll I'll admit it. 
Um, but yeah, if they dodge a move, you're like, oh my god, it's because they got my back. It's I love they them. Love me. <laughs> it's because they're so awesome. Dude, I do that in competitive still. So, like, you will dodge this thunder yeah, wave exactly. because you love me, and then they do it. I'm like, they do love me. <laughs> and that's what I play. That's what I play more of now than hmm. than like in game Pokemon. That's why I think for me it's more like, oh, I love my Golden Go, my Chi, yeah. my Fluttermane, my Arcanine, because it's like, oh, I'm using them yeah. more. <laughs> something, something. You should only be able to use your favorites. My favorite is Landorus Therian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I fucking love Stealth Rock. What do you want from me? <laughs> it yeah. is funny, because the same person that Brady recommended Rogue to, their unironic favorite Pokemon are Toxapex and Ferrothorn. Which yep. is so funny to me. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh god, I had a I had a train of thought that was gone. What was I talking about before this? Uh Sandy Shock. Is that green? Oh yes, gray yes. area? No no no. The oh. the um I hate you, Michael. I hate uh, you. <laughs> Wait, what I hate every everything in everything in the past like five minutes you said I hate. <laughs> I didn't even hear I, I like bro playing. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> You're 24. Oh my god! <laughs> bullying. Stop the bullying, please. I like. Oh my god. <laughs> and Ash, Ash, you didn't hear it, but you were like, "Oh, what did I say?" And I was like, "Sandy Shucks." No. <laughs> and then he says, "You were Sandy definitely Shucks. not talking about What's Sandy up? Shucks." <laughs> What what it's I was gone. going to say <laughs> is the role playing element. When you're a kid, you there do it without thinking, really. You know. When yeah, you're an yeah. adult, you don't have. You have to like put the conscious effort into. Because when you're a kid, your imagination, yeah. like, just kind of does its own you just thing. Let you, yeah, you just let your imagination run. Um, so I think that a lot of the things of adults growing up and not having as much fun with Pokemon, they're like, it used to be good. No, you used to put your own imagination onto <laughs> you it. You used to be a which child. Is, yeah, <laughs> which is a very big pro and a very big con for the game because it's great for younger audiences or for people like me and Michael who still... I, I don't know if Brady does it, obviously not, because he thinks we're cringe. Um... Who I don't some... role play. Look, okay. I, 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 when Michael says like, role play, I think he means a different thing from what you say oh. by role playing, <laughs> and that's that's what. No, I think I mean the same thing. <laughs> I, you, you, you have mentioned role playing my Hero Academia characters in Fortnite before. <laughs> what? You absolutely that mean me. a different thing. <laughs> this is so that was me. It's, Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is like shit that happens in the deep depths of the discords and the, the hangouts that we have. Michael's the fucking... He, he's, he's fucking... I don't know, man. He's something. He's something else. Oh my God. When he, he posts those images of like the, the lions, like the, 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 like the squad <laughs> holding their hands, and, they, and it's like, oh, that image is so hard. currently doing that? I cannot believe I am currently doing that and you're saying that in my ear. <laughs> like... He doesn't do it because oh that image goes hard. No, it, he, it, it goes hard, but in different ways for him. Oh no! Because it, it has has less has less to do with the fact that the image is hard or raw, and it's more of a it's a buff lion. <laughs> What's? I kind of relate to that buff lion. <laughs> I'm kidding, he I'm got kidding. that lion in him, bro. Listen, I, uh, when he says he's got that dog in him, he means it like differently. He, <laughs> <laughs> like, These accusations are going insane. <laughs> Michael, uh, am I wrong? Am I Bro, wrong? I'm gonna move it. You're gonna have to find out because when I move in, you hear barking noises in the middle of the night, bro. While I'm dead asleep. I don't know what fucking noise just came out of my mouth. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Michael, please, Michael, please, you're not helping yourself. Um, okay, Ash. I enjoy Pokemon like a normal person. Hey, me too. <laughs> and I assume Michael does as well. However, do not describe it as roleplay because you mean something different from when me and Ash say it. I think I'm really good at roleplay and you're jealous. <laughs> God, I'm... It's on fucking site, brother. It's on site. Every I'm, time. I'm telling the Route 1 meetup is gonna start with a fucking bell going off. Ding! Fight! And then they start need, eating the shit need. out of each other. Marcus is gonna be the referee, and I punched my mic, and Ash is gonna be like the, the camera. She's gonna. <laughs> One of us is getting owned. This is, this is fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll record it. I'll record it, but I'll make sure to do it at all the shittiest angles possible. 
I think <laughs> yeah. it's like shaky it's like, like phone camera. Yeah. yeah. It's it's portrait mode. It's like I'm like 360p. <laughs> yeah. I'm turning the camera around to show my shocked face and Marco's standing there looking at memes on his phone. <laughs> I um fuck. I wanted to cut it back. What what were we talking about before we tangent? <laughs> Sandy shocks. <Shucks. laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> I hate, I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was too perfect to fill up the Yeah. <laughs> what is with him and Sandy Shucks? I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> no, I, I don't know why he's on my mind either. <laughs> you know, sometimes you're just sitting around having a nice day. And you think about Sandy Sharks, you know, it, it's just, it just nope. be like that sometimes. A part of him is it's in our been... minds always. Exactly. A small exactly. bit of our mind is designated to annoying Sandy Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> He's so awesome, honestly. And, and that's how Pokemon fans should behave. Obsessed with Sandy Sharks? Sandy Sharks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> true, true. We should all have I think... Sandy Sharks in our hearts. I think... Okay, and I, I, this is, like, something I've also been thinking about. I think there needs to be, like, a distinction between, like, like, someone who likes something or is even, like, a fan of something and a, like, a fan, Stan. like, a, a fan Stan. in, like, quotation, like, fan, <laughs> fan. I know what you're talking about. Like, I know what you're talking about. when you talk about Gen 4 fans, we're not talking about people who like Gen 4 it's like a bit of, it's a bit of like, um, all thumbs are fingers, but not all fingers are thumbs, you know? <laughs> like, it's a, it's a, Like, I like K-pop, but I'm not a K-pop stan. Like, well, even a fan of, like, you could like K-pop and not be a K-pop fan. It's like the same I'm thing. I'm not making, I'm not making Jimin AMVs out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that ain't why not? Yeah, it's like, I, and then you, like, you can, <laughs> hey, yo. oh, why not? <laughs> Hey, you're the biggest self-exposed no. ever. <laughs> what do you mean self-exposed? <laughs> I don't like, listen to K-pop. What do you mean, why not? What do you mean, why not? I was doing a bit. I was doing a bit. <laughs> Backfired. Uh, yeah. He fucking parried it. <laughs> the fucking the sh- <laughs> like the, the Street Fighter, uh, the Street Fighter Three, like <laughs> exactly. I'm unbiddable. <laughs> He's simply too fucking powerful. I can't do it. I can't do it. The, how, yeah. Did y'all see that clip of um someone playing doubles in Smash and they're <laughs> they're fucking? It was two Steves, and the last guy yeah, alive was, was the fox, and they, the fox was so panicked, he didn't know how to react when he, when he started getting boxed in, like, on both on sides, both sides by both the Steves building a tower. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was I, just I so scared. That. Boxed in. <laughs> yeah. I, it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like. As a distinction, it's mm-hmm. like I can li- I can like the Persona series. It, it's like I mean, a Persona fan. Yeah, we don't like have a word for I, I guess people. I don't know. A, you it's can a be difference a fan between. Of There's no, no, nothing wrong stand. with like the word is the word is stands. Like I guess yeah, it's that's been a, good a thing. Well, no, for a while. I guess people is, haven't been stand, calling anybody that, but for a while. But that's Stan that's what is been, different yeah. because Stan is more like on the. And, like, the same vein as, like, a, like, dream and, like, Minecraft yeah. stands. But that's what like, it feels like to me. It's the same shit. It's like, how dare you disrespect Gen 4? Here's my goons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it, it's, I guess, but, like, the, the distinction is, like, I think stands are more, like, because stan originally means, like, like, stalker fan, but also at yeah. the same time stan... Oh. I didn't know that part. Um, Stan also can be like Stan, as in like the Eminem song. What? Like, what? do you know the song "Stan" by Eminem? Eminem, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I do not. I'm okay. sorry. I think it's like it's more closer to like using. It's. I feel like it's different because it's like I don't know. 
I, I guess it's how Another you inter- I guess it's about I how you interpret it interpret my band. Mm-hmm. how you like interpret okay. like the like what your definite like personal definition of Stan is mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I guess mm. um but I don't know I don't I I, I like if someone's a like at least in the case in the context of like a persona fan it's different to like how gen 4 fans are like you know mm-hmm. because persona 4 a uh, persona persona 4 persona fans <laughs> are just like fucking stupid don't play the game and like like that's that's like the like the negative connotation behind that like and they're weird people and like it's the same like uh like anime fans yeah right it's like they're weird Whereas Gen 4 fans is probably more closer to, like, stands in the way that... They'll defend oh, it till like... they die. Yeah. You need, it, it, to, you need to accept criticism. Case by case. Yeah. You need to accept criticism of the things that you like, but liking them isn't wrong. Don't even get me started on Love Live fans, oh, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> I think, I think a, big, a, big part of, a big part of it is, like, why is the... Like, a big part of it is having, like the media that you like are a fan of be like a a large part of your personality Mm -hmm. personality yeah like who are you without that sort of thing like that's how yes yes like how who are you without that media and if it's like you don't have much like much to grow off of and it's like that's where it's like weird and Shit. stuff. And if your personality is being a fan of said thing, it's strange because that's not who you are. That's what that is. They, I think that's that's figured, probably like the word. That's that's probably like how I would sort of see like Gen Four. Or being a Gen Four fan is like it's a part of your personality that you are a fan of Gen Four. Shit, they like, figured like me Gen out. 4. They figured like, me you out. Can... All I do is think about <laughs> Shulk Xenoblade all day long. But like, <laughs> but if you remove that from your personality, what is there left? There's so much more left there. If you remove that from like a Gen Four, f- like if you remove that from like a regular Xenoblade fan, then it's like <laughs> like a like a in in derogatory terms, Xenoblade fan. <laughs> derogatory. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Xenoblade fan, Xenoblade fan derogatory is crazy. Yeah. What is, what is that? He's spitting, but he's crazy. <laughs> Look, I've been spoiled. Wait. I've been spoiled by Xenoblade fans way too much. Ooh. Like, not necessarily because of Xenoblade, but like they're Xenoblade fans, and like they've spoiled stuff because for some reason there's like an equivalent between them and not caring about spoiling shit. And also being spoiled by Xenoblade. I almost yeah. got spoiled by future redeemed stuff, and then yes. I wanted to cry. Um, Do yeah. not get spoiled, everyone be careful. Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Be wary, be safe. Yeah. Um. Yell is at it... your friends if they post untagged spoilers. <laughs> yep. This is like a the semester ends. Sorry. And Tears of the Kingdom comes out. So oh, does it? Like Shit. Oh my god, it comes release. out like next week, yeah. doesn't it? It's next week. Yeah. Fuck! I didn't pre-order it. I don't know if I'm gonna get a physical copy or not. I gotta figure that out. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely not. <laughs> I'm not sure if you could. T- I've not bought a physical anything in forever. <laughs> mm. I'm not sure if you could tell. But this is like something that I think about a lot, and it's like. I feel like a lot of the time well, when I, I feel negatively about, about something, it's less about like a thing, and it's more about people and how they the act. People around mm-hmm. said thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that makes sense considering we're online for a majority of like what we do. I mean, this is online. We interact with people online through this, right? Like that's just a thing. Yeah. We... It's it's less common in person. Mm-hmm. Granted, it still exists in person, and it's oh, weird absolutely. as fuck when it's in person. When you go up to somebody that's like talking like they're on Twitter in person, they're it's like whoa. Buddy. Yeah, please. There cease. is the real life, and trust me, I'm very, very aware of how like I'm not. I don't know if cynical is the correct word. I'm very uh, I'll I'll say cynical for lack of a better term. How I cynical I am, but also that's me, man. That's who I am. Mm-hmm. Smile. I'm not sure if that's like a bad thing. <laughs> is it a bad thing when I'm cynical? A- Let us know in the comments. I don't below. think so. Eh. Yeah. But so it's like it, there's a difference between everything you just said and me being able to have like a perfectly normal conversation with a My Hero fan at lunch. <laughs> like that was that was real. That was a thing that happened. And it's like, thank God that this isn't on the Internet, because then it would be like super fucking weird and cringe and like. So much other extra random bullshit would get brought up of like, 
oh my god, I totally relate to this character. It's like, no, bro, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> what season did you start on? What season did you, where are yeah, you at? Yeah, so, yeah. Like, that was what the conversation was, like, normal people, not like, mm. I don't know, role-playing freaks. Yeah, man? Yeah, man? Role-playing freaks. It's crazy that you people up. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, I searched. I up wonder what my hero characters are. Patreons. Are. <laughs> I comment down thread below on the to Route join Patreons. Michael's RP group. Deku is already taken. <laughs> okay. yeah. No, 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 no. Michael's all might. Michael's all might. True, <laughs> true. But also Bakugan. <laughs> no, don't call him an asshole. If you leak that, I will kill you, Brady. What? I leak that. <laughs> He's got all my body die. Of shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> also, I searched... Yeah, let's go with that one. I searched up <laughs> cynic, Cynical, and I'm not... Not sure if that was the correct term. I'm very, very, very aware of things in social... Pessimistic. Pessimistic? I, I don't think that's right either. <laughs> I'm something, oh. and it's... Uh, and it comes from... <laughs> it comes, he I'm is something, and it comes from a... <laughs> It, it, it comes from a deep a deep hatred within myself um no what the fuck a deep hatred for for people and the, the way that they act um but also i equal it out with the amount of love i have for things plus just al schneebs yo What's up, patreon is shout out to um, our schneebs he's just like bakugo in that <laughs> what <laughs> So are you are you Deku Michael. and he's Bakugo? Is that what's happening? <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> just I <sighs> seething. He's seething. Uh, I took a week off and I came back a bitch. <laughs> I I'm happy that I'm happy that you said that because it gave me time to pull up the Patreon when I didn't have it up already. But like, okay, good. <sighs> I'm glad I'm useful. Bro, come on. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, like our Patreons, and also a bunch of other things that I like, um, but especially our Patreons, including Vanilla Ninja 2, Crazy Carlton, Trev, Shelda, El Nalin, Ten Marker, Plumber, Professor Jones, and T Tudra. Woo! Thank you for subscribing, as well as everybody else. There's stank on his name this week. <laughs> <laughs> what? Tudra. Um, no FFAs this week, we'll try to figure something else out to, like, do... But because, like, everybody has been gone for so long, yeah. we haven't been able to do any FFAs. My finals so like... are in two weeks. I will soon be free for premium nice content, <laughs> such as, um, I don't fucking know, shiny hunting where my dittos don't break. <laughs> yeah. At... <laughs> oh, what if we did that? Ash, you just... Or do you want to shine well, on something? Yeah. I just you <laughs> retweeted a bunch of the Irma stuff. So I, I was, I'm thinking about him. I'm thinking about him. He really. I'm looking through the account. It is just photos of Oma Star, and they are all captioned like Oma, Oma, Oma Star. It's all. That's all the whole account is. Listen, this is beautiful. I love this so much. We count. He's so cool. The, their their and... pinch tweet is them killing Arceus with a hydro pump from an Oma Star. Yeah, that's so awesome and powerful. Another example of things that I love: the Irma Star account. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that's all for now. No real VGC talk, but we spoke about Pokemon. A Gen Four fans, if you're angry, I don't know, like go fuck yourself or something. <laughs> um, we'll talk about Portland regionals when Marcos comes back. True, true, true. Yeah. Anyway, goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.